to get loud. 98.5 KLUC and CBS Radio present SPF 2017. I am, you know, just trying to enjoy my time, eat some good food, hang out, walk around, people watching the casino. Plenty of food, plenty of alcohol. Definitely. Anything, any, whatever your vice is, they've got it here. We've yeah. got it here in Vegas. Um, very excited about your album, Hopeless Fountain Kingdom. Mm -hmm. June 2nd, are you like counting down the days? You know, at this point I really am, and I'm so nervous. Like, I'm, when I was putting out my debut record, Badlands, you know, I had I had so much that I thought I needed to prove. And so leading up to the album release, it was kind of like every day I was scrambling to try to get as many people to know about the album as possible. And so now I, I played two years of shows. I toured probably 300, 350 shows in two years. And then, um, you know, we've done TV and we've Badlands went platinum and, you know, we have Coulter with the chain smokers and so much just happened. And I'm leading up to this album release now that I wake up in the morning and I'm like, I feel like I'm not doing anything. Yeah, right. I feel like I should be telling more people I'm putting out an album. Does anyone know that I'm putting out an album? But it seems like people kind of know. So yeah. I guess, you know, I just get to chill and enjoy the ride and be, be happy that I have amazing fans that are just as excited as I am. And it, it definitely calms that insecurity a little bit. That Because there is that second album, Insecurity, where you're like, people still don't care. You know, I'm not, I'm not new anymore. Right. People still need to care. I, I think they're absolutely going to care, and I think that it's well, it's another concept album you said, right? Um, and the first single, Now or Never, which is a totally amazing song, and it's got kind of like this dark and ominous feel. And and how often do you, do you ever get a song that can put you into like that mm -hmm. almost uncomfortable setting? Like I remember by the end of the, and I, I stopped biting my fingernails when I was like ten. <laughs> by the end of watching the video, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh come on, what is going on? The video just amazing for Now or Never, but give us a rundown on that song. Yeah, so Now or Never is um, is a definitely a unique type of song on the album. The songs kind of span like being really, really verbal, really poetic. Some of the songs are a little more about the sonics and less about the lyric, and that's kind of where Now or Never falls into play. Some songs are more pop, more R&B, but Now or Never I thought was the best song to lead with walking into this new record cycle because it kind of encompasses what the whole record's about. It's about these two people in love who are in this failing relationship, and it feels like they're being kept apart by some like greater force or energy or something. And so it's one of the partners saying to the other, you need to love me now or never, because who knows what's gonna get in our way. You know, and so I, I directed the music video, and I've never directed a music video before, so I was very nervous. And I'll tell you what, it's not as easy as it seems. I've been running around for weeks telling everybody, yeah, I directed the music video, but like what people don't know is like, oh, hundreds of emails and frame rates and picking an AD and a PD and a production company and all this stuff that I was like, oh my gosh, I just wanted to be a singer. Um, <laughs> but that's what's so cool about it, is that it really kind of re-energized me a little bit, learning something new, trying my hand at a new part of the artistry. Um, and I loved it so much, directing. I think I loved it too much. Like, I'm like, like so much I might not put out a third album and might just become a director. <laughs> and my manager's giving me the death stare right now for saying that, so I'm just <laughs> kidding. I would obviously be putting out a third album. Well, the, the song is amazing. Of course, the video is amazing, and it definitely leaves you wanting more, and you're like, okay, June second, so we can hear the rest of this story. Um, the song, I feel there is an obsession that people have with the song, mm -hmm. you know, because I sit on the other side of the phone line, people call and they're like, hey, come hear the song, and they tweet us, and, and, and it's almost like there's, like, this, it's, it's gone viral in this weird, like, obsessive kind of way, but in a good way. Yeah. Like, everybody's like, you need to play that now. That's so awesome. <laughs> I think, you know, my fans are really excited, and just as excited as I am to finally have a song, you know, on the radio that's mine, and it's about my story, and, and my style, and my narrative, and, I literally wouldn't trade closer for the world. It was such an amazing experience. You know, me going through that with the chain smokers was such a learning process for all of us and, and, and we are so grateful and so thankful. This is a whole new ball game. You know, this is the world not getting, you know, being the chain smokers. This is the whole world getting a little part of my universe, my personal life, my my real real breakup, my real moment. And I think my fans know that. And so they're they're just really, really happy that people are kinda of getting to see the version of me that I think they really like. Um, because you know the closer the closer version of me is is me entering I'm stepping into someone else's world. I step into the guy's world. I step into the change of his world. I'm bringing everybody to mine now. Yeah. You know, which I think is really, really special and everyone's been so supportive and every day I, I you know if I get to hear it on the radio or I see people requesting it online it's just like wow people really like this song okay good <laughs> like I'm gonna be okay yeah. you know 
But um, that's all I want, though. I think just to make just to make music that people have that special relationship with, but they don't understand why they want to hear it so bad for some reason they do. Because that's always been my favorite kind of songs. I mean, one for example, this is a funny funny one to mention, but Royals by Lord was like that for me. When that song first came out, I couldn't figure out why I was so obsessed with it. And I was just like, there's something so special about this record. Um, I think every artist chases a song like that at some point in their career. Yeah. yeah. Well, again, very excited about it. We've got to wrap things up. Oh, already? You can keep going. Kingdom. They're giving you a mean look. Sorry. <laughs> June 2nd, we get it, right? Yes, June 2nd. The video you can go see now. And thanks so much for taking a few minutes with us. Yeah, of course. Thank you for letting me talk the whole time. I could interview myself. You're so. good. Um, you guys are the Made my job so easy. <laughs> thanks. Thank you, Halsey. Yeah, of course. Are you ready to get loud? 98.5 KLUC and CBS Radio present SPF 2017.